Hello everyone, what is going on? It's Brad Shishin here, and today I'm playing some more Space Engineers, and in today's episode, I kind of did ditch my last project, the last idea of Vertigo, because, I don't know, it just didn't turn out the way I wanted it to, and I wanted something that would be a little bit more fun, a little bit more interactive, something that you guys could enjoy with either by yourselves or with your friends. So, I present to you this. This is my racing arena, uh, kind of puzzle game thing where it basically pitches up to four people against each other in uh, in identical puzzles. So as you guys can see here, each puzzle is completely identical, even the parts with the rotors, these are all in sync as well. So I, I thought you guys might enjoy this, you know, you download the map, you guys can play it against your friends, and just try to get the best times you can, really. So I'll go through a run here, I will take the red door because or the red gate there's like I said four different colors I'm yellow but I'm gonna be taking red because I'm a rebel uh, before I start I'll go up, go up here I didn't really put much up here this is kind of just a place for people to stand and watch and then come up here this is probably the best view that you're gonna get if you want to watch people do the uh, do the game or you can just fly around with jetpack that's easily enough what you can do as well so I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna show you guys the basic course myself so I'm going to start here, you give a countdown, and people start running. The first thing is easily enough a barrier. Then you've got two staircases to run across. Then you have this uh, slight uh, two-pillar puzzle, which, uh, oddly enough, that used to be a flat pillar, but I had to change it to a curved one because, for whatever reason, uh, after I made it, I tested it with a friend, and he could not land on the flat pillar anymore, so I made it a little bit easier on him. Then you have a slight little ladder thing here. I thought this was something just to kind of just throw in there just for the sake of having it in there. And we're going to try and get out here. There we go. And then the next bit here is these kind of uh, tightrope walking. If you step too far to the side, you're going to fall off them. So you kind of don't really want to do that. So th this is slightly difficult. Not too hard though. I'll let me walk back here and try and stay on. I'm trying to get myself lined up. Up. No, I didn't make it. I'll just fly over because I'm trying to show that you guys this in the least amount of time possible. So now you have the rotating platforms, which is not all too difficult. Oh, they've actually almost lined up this time. Wow, I don't think I... What happened there? Weird. Let me try that again. It feels like the gravity is slightly stronger uh, in multiplayer, because this is my multiplayer world. So, oh no, there we go. It was just me being a bit weird. Um... So when I made this in single player, I tested every puzzle and everything worked out alright. When I played with my friend, the gravity seemed a little bit too strong. This is still the multiplayer world right now. There we go, waiting for the gravity to kick in. You guys can see that this has rotational gravity. Yet again, this is something I like to use in my puzzles. And this will throw people off, trying to get things done. Now, obviously, if you get this way, you can maybe make that puzzle, but it doesn't really matter because you can just go over here anyways. Now you have a rotating platform. This is not too... Oops, I missed that completely. Um, this isn't too hard to do, it's kind of more so about timing than anything, but we'll get to show you that now. I'm just going to wait here till this rotates around, and then I can continue running onwards this way. And yet again, we're going to wait till it rotates around again. Now this is very finicky, if you take too many steps to the left or to the right, you're going to fall off and you're probably going to die. Well, you're not going to die, you just kind of go all the way back. So this is something you should be extremely cautious when running along. I trust me to get the part where it's got four prong, there's three prongs, and I can't get past. Uh, so we're gonna wait here until the next rotation. Then I should be able to run right through, at least most of the way through. I seem to have got like the bad hand this time. Jeez, I can't do anything. Oh well, we'll just wait till this comes around, and we should be on a home stretch next. Yes, yes, yes. We're, we should be on a home stretch, and here we go. And outside the door. Yes, good. Now, this one here, I was messing around with a friend before, which is why the gravity is a bit funky, uh, because I was showing him that if you run over here and you jump, you'll start bouncing off the ground like that, which is kind of cool, but that's not how this puzzle is going to end, or the, the race. It's more of a race than it is a puzzle. Let me put the gravity generator back where I had it in the first place, and you guys can already see stuff there. Let me try to avoid that and go down here and remove said gravity generator. That's making stuff wacky. If you want, you can put gravity generators on there. I'll show you what they do in a second just for some, I guess, fun endings. You can change this map around as much as you want. 
uh, you can change the puzzles however you want, but I'm just showing you guys this it, uh, how it is right now. So this is a home stretch run kind of scenario. We can actually see the other races if they were racing. You can see how far ahead or how far behind they are. So you guys can kind of know who's in the lead. And you see the checkered. You go to make the jump and gravity. Yeah. And then you have a wind side. So the first one to make it to the pit or down here basically is the winner. And th this takes about uh, two to three minutes, I guess, to run through the whole thing. So let me just fly back through all these songs. Now, like I said, these are all identical. All the motors are in synchronization with each other. So if this part's at the top here, like it is right now, it'll be the same for every other player. So you don't have to worry about any anyone getting an unfair advantage over anyone else because everyone should be seeing the exact same thing. The only time someone would have an advantage is if they get ahead of you slightly and then the puzzles will be out of time, obviously because they're ahead of you. So that basically sums up this puzzle. You guys can name it uh, whatever you want, I'm just going to keep it a kind of a, I don't know, some sort of a obstacle race basically, that's what I'm going to call it. That You guys can give it a name, whatever you want, uh, down in the comment section down below. And if you guys want to download this map, I'll put it up on the workshop. But let me guys let me know if you guys actually want it in the comments. That way I will know to put it up for you guys. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.